click the bell icon to get latest videos from ekida hello friends in this lecture we'll be studying the frames slots and symbols that have been used in lte frame is a structure in which the data is been transmitted in lte subframes comprise together to form a single frame these subframes internally have got slots in which the actual data transmission takes place cyclic prefix is also been added here to remove the inter symbol interference in this lecture we will be studying the frame slots and the symbols of the lte the fundamental time unit of the lte transmission is a radio frame and the duration of this frame is 10 milliseconds remember here there are time slots been given for the user to transmit the data as we can see here one radio frame which is equal to ts equal to 10 milliseconds each radio frame is then divided into 10 subframe each being 1 millisecond long the subframes are the fundamental unit of time for most lte processing like scheduling one subframe as we can see in the diagram over here it is a combination of 0 and 1 each subframe consists of two slots and each of which is 0.5 millisecond long so here 0 is 0.5 millisecond and one slot is also 0.5 millisecond one subframe together forms 1 millisecond each slot consists of seven or six symbols below we can see there is a cp which is in the gray color that is called as a cyclic prefix and every data has a cyclic prefix attached to it so we have six different symbols up to lb hash 6 so we have six different symbols over here that has been transmitting in one slot sometimes we could also have seven for extended cyclic prefix for example the initial diagram that we can see the cyclic prefix duration is small that is only 160 ts that is a sampling time whereas in the next if we have 512 ts which is a sampling time since the duration of the cyclic prefix is longer in the second diagram less amount of data gets transmitted hence only five symbols are getting transmitted in this slot let us now move to the details of the symbol the modulation format used here is ofdm which stands for orthogonal frequency division multiplexing in this technique there are multiple frequencies which have been used and all the frequencies are orthogonal to each other or 90 degrees apart from each other hence in ofdm multiple sub carriers are present the spacing between these sub carriers is 15 kilohertz this 15 kilohertz spacing leads to an ofdm symbol duration to be 67 microseconds hence we can fit either 6 or 7 symbols in this one slot depending on the duration of the cyclic prefix if the cyclic prefix is shorter then maybe seven symbols we can fit if the cyclic prefix is longer then less symbols that is five or six can be fit one sub carrier for the duration of one ofdm symbol is called as resource element we will be seeing what is a resource element in detail in the next diagram we can see how a data is been transmitted in uplink as well as in downlink If we see the left hand side of the diagram there is one uplink slot which is the time duration of T slot in that we are sending 6 or 7 symbols n number of symbols could be sent but here it is 6 or 7 SCFDM is stands for single carrier frequency division multiple access which has been used here So in this diagram we can see there are seven symbols that have been transmitted if you see vertically the vertical block indicate the sub carriers so here we are having 12 sub carriers that have been transmitted the vertical blocks indicate the sub carriers so here we are having 12 sub carriers that have been transmitted for data transmission the darker block that we can see is called the resource block and the individual element of the resource block represent a resource element this resource element is marked in gray color this resource element is indicating one symbol that has been transmitted using one single sub carrier 
So here we can see one resource block having 12 sub carriers. Symbols are in horizontal direction whereas the carriers are in the vertical direction over the duration of one single slot. For uplink, a continuous resource block has been assigned to the mobile station. Now let us see how the data has been transmitted using TDD. As we know, LTE has got two flavors which is called as FDD and TDD. In time division duplexing case, the subframes can be assigned flexibility in uplink as well as in downlink. The exception of the subframes is 0 and 5 which is used for downlink and subframe 2 is always used for uplink. For every transition from downlink to uplink, there is a guard interval to avoid the collision between the packets on the air. So we know that there are guard times being given in the frames in such a way that there is no collision even if there is a delay in the packet arrival. Consequently, there are subframes that are containing three distinct parts. The first one is the downlink pilot time slot, uplink pilot time slot and guard intervals between them. So this is how the data has been transmitted using TDD and FDD. Thank you so much for watching this video. Stay tuned to Ikeda and subscribe to Ikeda.